Welcome back to Franchise Football here on the Eurocat Games YouTube channel. I'm Husker Eurocat, and it's been my pleasure to be the voice of the New York Jets franchise for the last seven seasons. Although the Jets didn't win in their final game, which happened to be Super Bowl 59 against the Dallas Cowboys, New York couldn't end the series on a high note with a Super Bowl win. But they were able to make it to the playoffs in six of its seven season run. The AFC Championship game four times, as well as the Super Bowl twice, taking home the Lombardi Trophy once during that time. It's now time to move on with a new challenge in my broadcasting career. And the decision has been made to land in Atlanta, Georgia to take on the next era as the voice of the Atlanta Falcons Broadcasting Network. With the help of Eurocat Baby on the sidelines and halftime analyst, we've moved on to Madden 22 and the Madden Modding Community Network. The Atlanta Falcons started as an expansion team of the NFL after a battle with the then independent AFL for exclusive rights to an Atlanta football franchise and in 1966 took the field in Fulton County Stadium for the first time. It took 12 seasons before the Falcons finally made it to the playoffs in 1978 losing in the divisional round to the Dallas Cowboys. Since then, Atlanta has 13 playoff appearances and two NFC championships, but no Lombardi trophies in franchise history. Now is the time to see if that can be changed. Turner Gill has been hired as the 18th head coach in franchise history. He takes over a team led by veteran quarterback Matt Ryan and wide receiver Calvin Ridley, but that's the extent of truly seasoned impact players on the offense. They do have wide receiver Russell Gage Jr. and rookie sensation Kyle Pitts at the tight end position, but some definite help is going to be needed on the overwhelmingly weak O-line. On the defensive side of the ball, the impact players are Grady Jarrett at left end. A.J. Terrell, although only in his second season at cornerback, and in the middle of the defense you have Deion Jones and Foye Oluokun. The Falcons did draft Richie Grant out of UCF at strong safety, and hopefully he grows into that position. The two immediate problems that I see are number one, a very weak O-line, and number two, a major lack of any depth at almost all the positions on the roster. Now they do have some players that could be developed into NFL stars with the right coaching, but that's not going to help Atlanta out the gate. The first thing that Coach Gill did was sign some veteran talent to the roster that may help, well, uh, for this season anyway. On the O-line, Kalechi Assembly was signed to fill the right guard position. It was determined that Jalen Mayfield needed a little more seasoning in that year of life on the second string learning from KO <laughs> may be helpful. On the defense, veteran right end Everson Griffin was signed to the squad giving Marlon Davidson another year or possibly two to grow. With those additions, the team overall has risen to a 78 overall. But there is still a lot of work for Coach Gill to do in order to make this a championship contending team again. Remember, it's been five seasons ago that they suffered that devastating loss to the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Since then, 
it's been a steady decline for the Falcons, and the time has come for a changing of the guard and hopefully a return to championship form. Next up, we have the preseason, which consists of playing the Titans at home, the Dolphins in Hard Rock Stadium, and then home again to play the Browns before the cuts are made to get the squad down to that 53-man cap. Will there be any of the younger players that make a move and become regular features of this Falcons roster? And can new head coach Turner Gill turn this franchise around once again to be a contending factor here in the NFL? Stay with us as the Atlanta Falcons franchise kicks off with preseason 2021 action from Mercedes-Benz Stadium on the Madden Modding Community Broadcasting Network. Until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Herocat saying so long for now and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>